Hello beauty babes, welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I do these like wispy, um, flat iron baby hair look. You know, the look they typically do on like lace wigs and stuff. But I wanted to see if I could do it on my uh, natural hair because I don't know, I was just curious, so why not? Um, but yeah, so. So typically when they do these type of baby hairs, like I said, it's on like the lace wigs and stuff. So like the hair is more straight or they'll straighten the hair like with a, um, you know, little flat iron or whatever. And they'll, you know, curve them up with the flat iron and stuff like that. And they'll use um, like hairspray to tame them, I guess, uh, what is saying. So the things that I have to achieve this look is I have like, you know, the little baby flat iron. I see some people be using the big ones. Um, don't know how they're that bold to use the big ones and not be afraid that they're going to um, burn their heads because yeah, absolutely not. Um, so yeah, I have the little baby flat iron, you know, that would make four edges. I have obviously an edge brush and you want to use some hairspray. I'm just going to be using the um, got to be hairspray if I can find it okay so for some reason I can't find my got to be uh, freeze blast spray one so maybe my trust me one will work um, if I end up needing it then I'll go get it but I'm gonna try it first with my trust me one because I don't feel like looking for the other one um, so yeah what did I say flat iron edge brush and the holding spray and I think that's it from my remember ints of it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna tie obviously this hair out of my face just so that I can see what I'm doing. Um, typically when I do my edges, obviously I don't flat iron them and I just use my uh, true edge or um, can't remember the name of the other edge control I use, but the True Edge one, the one that looks like this. I get it from the Beauty Supply Store. I typically just use that, and then I'll wrap my edges to get them to stay. But I have uh, tried this different times before, so I'd be lying if I didn't say I tested it out. Um, but typically, I still always use the edge control. But I want to try just using the hairspray to see how that works instead. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And since I have my hair in you know these twists my edges are already you know out because I leave my edges out when I'm doing my twists and stuff so that um, you know so that it doesn't you know break off or anything inside the twist from being too tight um, but yeah right now what you see me doing is I'm combing out my edges just in case there's any knots tangles product even um, I doubt there's any product though because I haven't done my edges realistically in a while because I don't do them every day um, I don't need to but I haven't done them so obviously this is why they're looking kind of crazy and then you know it's morning kind of just woke up so yeah uh, my edges are the first thing I like to do you know before makeup and everything like that so that's why I am bare faced right now but yeah, edges are all combed out. And now I'm gonna start the little flat ironing process. And obviously the difference with doing this with your own hair versus the wig hair is a, it's a lot easier to burn yourself. So I'm honestly terrified. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take the flat iron as close as I can. And as I'm, you know, pulling through, I'm kind of turning backwards, like you see. Cause that's what I've seen them do. I've seen them go up and I've seen some people go like this, but typically they do it either with this pieces and the back pieces. And I am going to do the back, um, as well on camera. So 
don't think you're not gonna see that but yeah obviously I'm not able to get every single hair because there are some strands that are just simply too short and I'm not about to be burning my forehead just to do this So I have all of the pieces in the front um, flat iron to the best of my abilities. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it looks very crazy, but I'm going to start laying them down now. So what I've seen one person doing in particular is she would spray her brush with the hairspray and, you know, start laying them down that way. I'm going to see if that works for me, um, if it doesn't then I'll just be, uh, I don't know, using my edge control, I guess, and just won't use much, but yeah. I don't know, because I feel like since it's my natural hair, using the hairspray won't work as good as expected, if you know what I mean. But I don't know, that's not, that's not doing horrible. Honestly, I feel like I took out more edges than I typically do when I was doing these twists because I knew I was going to do this video um, and I knew it wouldn't work if I just leave out, left, leave out, left out very few. Hairspray's doing okay, but it's not really doing much. And now I don't know if it's just the Tresemme one or what. So I'm gonna go get the got to be glue hairspray just, you know, to give it a fierce chance before I start using my actual edge control. So give me a second. Okay, so I'm back and I have the got to be spray. Uh, so I'm gonna start using this one instead. And yeah. Uh, yeah, this one is giving more more hold, but still obviously not as much as like actual edge control. Like they're lifting. I can tell they won't last all day. So I'm going to switch to using edge control and I'm just going to try not to use too much. And so yeah, because for type 4 hair, which is what I have. I don't know if you can see, but see how frizzy they are? Yeah, those aren't gonna last through not even half of the day, especially not in this Texas heat. They not, they not lasting, so. I'm just gonna kinda do them with the edge control and then give my little feedback.
as you can see this is the result before even like putting any um tie on it like anything to lay my edges down i always like still play with them even after they look fine i still like i still mess with my edges because i like to make sure they are how i want them to be exactly and now that they are pretty much um done now i am gonna take the hairspray uh this time i i used the the trust me one and i'm fine with it but i spray a little on my edges and kind of just go in with the brush and smooth it throughout because I don't like to just leave it sitting there but you want to be careful to try your hardest to not mess up what you just did um, Now my edges are all laid. Now my key to getting them to last all day is to definitely wrap them down. And you don't have to wrap them down for long, just for, you know, I do like five minutes at the least. Um, so I'm just taking, honestly, I take whatever. It really doesn't matter. Just wrap them down. I just have a bunch of these, um, you know, those salon strips, those black things. I have a lot of those, so. I'll use those and yeah so I'm just gonna wrap my edges I'm gonna leave them on for like five minutes and then I'm going to oof, then I'm gonna come back take off this and then try the little flat iron part on the you know back part of my edges and so yeah I'll be back Okay, so here we are. Honestly, I can't even tell you how many minutes later because I have gotten extremely distracted by TikTok. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to cut, rip whatever this uh, stuff off and reveal, you know, my edges. Oop. Very simple. Very, uh simple I guess is what I continue to say and now I'm gonna do the ones in the back I never do the ones in the back but just in case I decide that I'm gonna wear my hair up I just want to see how it'll look I'm gonna put on my glasses I think cuz I want to be able to see I don't know I can see in the camera I feel like good enough hopefully I don't burn myself maybe I should put on my glasses I don't feel like getting up to go get them though so yeah with these I'm just going to get as close as I can and literally just keep turning them as if like um curling them i guess i don't know okay so that didn't really do much but since i did do it to one side i'm gonna go ahead and do it to the other i mean just because why not so i mean just really quickly and I guess that's really it for the back I'm not wearing them up anyway so you won't really be able to see it but um for the front I typically never do the back like I never typically do the back of my edges like ever uh I may if anything put gel on my finger and like twirl them and make them come curly but as for this flat iron part and all that laying it down with the edge control, I never do that because I can't see the back of my head. So it never, I don't think, turns out correctly. But this is how my edges are and how they look. Um, since it has been a while since I've had these twists in, um, there are more edges that, you know, as my twists loosen up, I don't know if it happens to anyone else, but they come out more. Um, so this is a lot more than what it was 
when I, you know, did them a while ago. Okay, so before I close out this video and everything, um, I want to give you an even closer up look on the um, edges. Now, they've been sitting without the wrap on for a little while and I don't know if it was because I used the hairspray first because keep in mind this isn't how I typically do my edges and I've used a flat iron on my edges before but typically I won't use the hairspray at all I'll use just the edge control now for me personally I'm gonna continue using just the edge control don't like how how the hairspray works it just doesn't as you can see like it, it's only been a few minutes it's just not holding the way I'm used to it. The flat flat ironing the hair does work better than me just using it as my, in my natural state because um you know the edge control will stick more to the hair but with the hairspray I think I don't know if it was the Tresemme one or not um it just didn't do as well as it typically does. So for type 4 hair, I recommend just using a good edge control if you want to do the whole wispy flat iron look thing. Because it did, when I typically do it, it does give more of a wispy kind of look. Um, I wish I really had pictures. I don't think I have pictures. If I do, I will try to insert them. But I don't think I do since I just kind of started doing the this. I typically never use it before. And it honestly, it still does well. But, yeah, I just wanted to try the whole wispy baby hair trend because I saw them and I was like, oh, they're cute and stuff. It's cute. Yeah, just for wigs. I mean, no one told me to do this. I was just trying this experiment on on myself. You know, I mean, typically, like I said in the beginning of the video, people typically only do this for wigs. So, maybe that's why it doesn't work on natural hair. But, without further ado, we've come to the end of today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.